You are looking at a live picture from our Roanoke's Blacksburg Airport Skycam. Now, today we saw more sunshine east and more cloud cover west. You've been mostly cloudy much of the day towards the highlands and also towards the New River Valley. You see more sunshine towards Lynchburg and south side. Roanoke, you're in between. We've seen a mix of clouds and sunshine in Roanoke with more clouds than sunshine, especially over the last couple of hours or so. Let's head on over and show you what the radar picture looks like. And you'll notice that from the southern highlands, say from Allegheny County south into areas in and around with County, we do indeed have have some light snow showers. None of this really falling all that heavily right now, but there could be some bouts of heavier snow showers moving in later tonight into the day tomorrow. Find the folks seeing some snowflakes right now. Areas just to the west of Blacksburg, Christiansburg, you just had a few snow showers move through. Areas in around Pulaski dealing with a few snow showers as well, right along Highway 100. Even if you're traveling along Highway 11 and Interstate 81, you may encounter a few snowflakes here for the next little while. For the day tomorrow, we're looking at highs right around 39 degrees. Looks like tomorrow's going to be a day similar to today in that we're going to see more sun east, more clouds west. We're also looking at uh, the chance for more mountain snow showers tomorrow. Uh, overall, we're looking at the upslope snow machine turning itself off at some point in time, probably on Thursday. Thursday, we're a little bit warmer with highs around 53. We're partly sunny on Thursday and we're staying on the breezy side. So here we go. Future tracker showing that chance for some snow showers tonight. Certainly the highest concentration of those will be in West Virginia, but there absolutely will be a spillover uh, tonight into tomorrow towards the highlands and also towards the New River Valley. 730 in the morning, you'll notice that parts of Grayson County, Bland County, parts of Giles, Craig County, certainly seeing some snow showers as well. This is around lunchtime tomorrow where the Highlands will certainly have the chance for some snow showers, as will the Mountain Empire and the New River Valley. Notice also on Wednesday, Lynchburg South Side, I think you're going to see more sunshine than anybody else. As we head into the day on Thursday, Thursday looks to be a day where we will likely see a partly to mostly sunny sky pretty much all day long in all of our backyards. As far as how much snow we see from now through Wednesday, three to six inches of snow towards the west slopes of West Virginia. Great news for ski country. Then you head into our neck of the woods and you'll notice that we certainly could pick up on a lead accumulation up to an inch out across uh, parts of Highland, Bath, Craig, Giles, Bland, with counties. Uh, as you head towards Mount Rogers, say near White Top, you could see maybe a little bit more than an inch of snow, maybe one to two inches of snow, say near uh, White Top and also Mount Rogers. But again, our, uh, our snowfall totals here will be minimal in comparison to what they're going to be seeing across West Virginia. Temperatures right now stand 40 in Lynchburg. It's 41 Smith Mount Lake, 33 in Withville, also in Blacksburg. Now, as far as those winds are concerned, uh, they're anywhere between around 7 and 20 miles per hour. The strongest wind right now out of the northwest at 20 in Hillsville. We've had some wind gusts today in excess of 30 miles per hour. As we head into the overnight tonight, we're looking at sustained winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour with some gusts perhaps up to 25 or 35 miles per hour. So winds are going to stay elevated tonight into the day tomorrow, frankly, even into the day on Thursday. Overnight lows tonight in the teens and 20s, but it's going to feel more like the single digits and teens out there when you factor in the wind. Breezy, cold tomorrow, mountain snow showers with highs in the 30s and lower 40s. We are in the 50s Thursday, Friday, also St. Patrick's Day near 60 on Sunday, and then temperatures start to plummet again as we head into early next week. Monday could be a little bit interesting. We'll start out, I think, dry with some sun. Late in the day, chance for rain. Monday night could have a wintry mix, mm. lasting into Tuesday morning before changing back over to rain. And that wintry mix could include some snow. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. Could. No. We're over it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 